Hi, this is John from NYC. Um, today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a emergency lamp with a cooking oil. So, first, as you guys know, this is a uh, tea light candle. Once you use this up, use the candle. This, you can uh, save it to uh, actually make the base for the candle. You could use just one tissue, just one, as you guys notice. And what I will do is just making a uh, big out of the tissue and then you put it in. Uh, you don't want to make it too high, you want to make it low. So, then this is a regular cooking oil. I'm not using it too much, just a few drops. You just uh, wait until it gets soaked up because I put very little. soaked up it's and uh, right now it's not yet soaked yeah. okay okay and, <clears throat> okay. and one thing um good about this pretty much uh, just about everybody has cooking oil and a uh, toilet tissue so anybody can just make it. So I'm gonna light this up. If it's not soaked up all the way, it's, it's not gonna go really that well. But once it gets soaked enough, it will go. Good about this, this will uh, last pretty well, uh, pretty long. But bad thing about it, about this, it has all uh, that burning oil smell and it will create um, quite a bit of soot. So you wanna, you wanna know about those kind of things before you even uh, make this. But nonetheless, this is uh, great for the emergency light or uh, lamp. I should say. Eh, in this case, I guess it's a, a tea light <laughs> candle. Let me blow this out. Eh, it is prayer kind of. Actually, I'm gonna put it in the uh, corner right there. Let it burn out for a while. And I'll put in there uh, no, maybe no more than uh, six, seven drops of oil. You see it's going. Let's find out how long it will go. Second one. I'm gonna show you is in a uh, glass jar or glass bottle. As you notice, top is glass jar. I don't have the top for this. For this, I will have to use, use aluminum foil. Cut it out. Make sure. Make sure you want to shape it. You just want to pre-shape this. As you guys know, it's burning. And you don't want to put too much. You see it? I didn't put too much. Just. Just enough. 
because this oil will burn for quite a bit. And second, uh, I didn't bring any tool. Let's see. Okay. You just wanna uh, make a hole into that thing. Ugh. You don't wanna make it too big like I just did, but you just wanna make a uh, hole. What you do is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Exactly five, uh, five spaces of toilet tissue. You just wanna uh, roll at the center. You wanna make a wig. So you wanna twist it like so. And you don't, you don't wanna do it all the way down. So what you do is uh, you push the rest of the part in so it will soak up the oil pretty well. And this center part, you wanna put it in like so. You wanna make a wig like so. I think this is gonna take a while to uh, soak. I'm waiting for this to soak in. Uh, that. Notice it's still going. Let's see. How much it has been soaked? Huh, I guess I didn't have too much oil compared to the tissue, so I guess I'll put it in a little bit more. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, put, pull it out to where it's soaked. I'm gonna cut it right by where, it, where it's uh, soaked. Let my hand get all that. Wipe my hand. Good. I want you to understand this is about 10 drops, so if you put more oil, it's going to last a whole lot longer. Since it is creating a lot of soot at this time, I'm going to blow this one out. Okay. Whew. That's the cooking oil. The burning oil smell. This one, you see, it's, it's pretty much almost soaked to the top. I'm going to light this. Once the fire has been started, you take a little bit of time. All right? Uh oh. I guess the oil wasn't all the way coming out. I guess I cut the paper a little too long. Okay. 
But there you go. Paper wasn't soaked enough. Once you soak the paper enough, sorry guys. <clears throat> Here's the lamp. It's going. And if you put on uh, this much oil, then this will go for quite a while. Um, if you don't want to use the um, toilet tissue, you can use the cotton ball. It works pretty well. You, you will have a more control over making a wig. Uh, you will use any uh, cotton cloth um, if you're not using. Or you could use any other kind of uh, stuff that you have. I mean, this is very easy to make. This is the stuff that uh, you already have in the house household. So, for emergency or uh, situation, this is a um, very easy way to make it. Everybody usually have a, uh, some sort of glass cup, glass jar, something that you're not using. You, everybody should have a uh, cooking oil in a house. That's one. Um, Toilet tissue for all uh, worse come worse. Any uh, cotton, cotton material for wig. And also the aluminum foil. Okay. As you notice, I'll just take the top off. You can make it like so. So air will flow off. Uh, much free this way you you will go so there, there are quite a few ways to make this but to me this little thing here is the best you you could uh just drop a few alcohol I mean cooking oil sorry I say alcohol cooking oil and it will go for quite a quite a bit I'm gonna blow this out Uh, this concludes uh, show you how to uh, make the aluminum uh, I say aluminum sorry I'm going to today uh, this show you how to make the um, emergency lamp with cooking oil so hope you guys like this video uh, please subscribe thanks Till next time.